So welcome everyone. This is General English 1, Unit 10, and the topic is natural disasters. Follow along on the worksheet if you have it. If not, that's okay. So look and listen and repeat. Have you ever experienced a natural disaster? Really? What happened? Again. Have you ever experienced a natural disaster? Really, what happened? Well, I've experienced hurricanes and floods and tornadoes and earthquakes. Um, well, I grew up in Massachusetts and New England and we used to have hurricanes now and then. And I experienced a flood in 2010 in Thailand and I've experienced small earthquakes here in Korea. Um, well, during the flood in Thailand, I was in Bangkok. I was living there. Um, I was there for a few months, but the water level kept rising and eventually I decided to leave. So you can pause the video and answer those questions alone, um, or you can ask the questions along with some follow-up questions. Um, if you're working with a partner, either way, you should answer some follow up questions. Okay. And now the vocabulary. So look and listen and repeat. An avalanche, an earthquake, a hurricane, a tsunami, a dust storm, a flood a tornado, a volcanic eruption. And you can pause the video and fill in the blanks and then come back for the answers or just do the exercise with me. So I'm gonna ask what happened? And you're gonna say there was an avalanche or whatever. So number, number one, what happened? There was a hurricane. Number two, what happened? There was a dust storm. Number three, what happened? There was an earthquake. Number four, what happened? There was a tornado. Number five, what happened? There was a flood. Number six, what happened? There was an avalanche. Number seven, what happened? There was a volcanic eruption. Number eight, what happened? There was a tsunami. Okay, and now the dialogue. So look and listen and repeat and try to use some emotion and body language. So Danielle, how was your trip to the Philippines? Well, actually, it was kind of scary. Really? What happened? Well, there was a tsunami. We knew we might drown. So we just stayed in the hotel. Wow, you could have been killed. I know, but I'm trying not to think about that. I'm glad you're okay. So what do you think you'll do on your next vacation? Honestly, I may just stay home. Okay, and now the pronunciation, content words and function words. So, A, so we just stayed in the hotel. B, so we just in the, C, stayed hotel. So which ones, A, B, C, provide information and which ones do not? A, definitely. And B, no, not really. C, yes. Actually, down here. 
And there should be two. Which one provides information and is grammatically correct? A. So which words are content and which words are function words? B or C. So content words give you information. So that would be C, content information. And the other words are function or grammar. They make the sentence grammatically correct. So which words, content or function, are pronounced with more emphasis? So I'm going to read this sentence three ways. With equal emphasis. So we just stayed in the hotel. Does that sound good? Hopefully not. It sounds like a machine or a robot reading the sentence. How about if I emphasize the function words? So we just stayed in the hotel. Hopefully that sounds horrible and backwards. How about now just the content or information words? So we just stayed in the hotel. So we just stayed in the hotel. So the point is English is a stress timed language, not a syllable timed language. Korean is syllable timed where each syllable tends to have equal value. In English, each syllable or, or word or part, okay, hotel, the, function, information, um, does not have equal value, all right? So the words that are content words, information words, get the greater emphasis, they're the, more important words. So think about that when you're speaking. You can stop the video and practice reading the dialogue again and focus on emphasizing the content words more than the function words. Okay, and now the conversation. Let's practice the example topic questions. So look and listen and repeat. One, have you ever experienced a natural disaster? Really, what happened? Have you ever experienced a flood? Really, what happened? Number two, what kinds of natural disasters usually happen in Korea? Germany, Japan, Ecuador, etc. Number three, what can you do if you are caught in an avalanche? What might you do? In a flood, okay. Number four, what is something that might cause a flood? <clears throat> a forest fire, etc. Number five, what might the government do after an earthquake? Should the government do during a flood, before a volcanic eruption? Number six, have you seen the movie The Impossible? which is about a tsunami that hit Thailand or some other movie. Okay, so practice these conversation questions alone or with a partner. Think of some other questions, create some new questions. And of course, practice using the system, topic question, follow-up question, switch question, follow-up question, um, or follow-up questions, who, what, when, where, how, and why. Take the time to ask follow-up questions. It's really important that you do so. Who, what, when, where, how, and why. Don't rush through the conversation. Have a relaxed conversation like you would with a friend. All right? And now the grammar, modals to express possibilities. May, might, could, must, and can't. So which words are the same? May and might. Which words are the weakest? May, might, and could. You can do this with me or pause the video and do it yourself and then come back. Which words are the strongest? Must and can't. Fill in the blanks. Some sentences have more than one answer. If we get too much rain, there might, may, 
or could be a flood. If your apartment building starts to shake, there may, might, not must, or actually must, could or must be an earthquake. Must in this case means you're guessing. There must be an earthquake. Not, it's not the same here as, as um, must as in have to. Six, if you live near a volcano there, might, may, or could be an eruption someday. Seven, if you were caught in a flood or tsunami, you might drown, may drown, could drown. Because of the dust storm, we can't breathe right now. If there's a if there is a natural disaster near you, you must or should go to safety. Okay, and now that you've done the grammar, you can go back and practice the conversation questions again, alone or with a partner, create some new questions, and focus on using the grammar correctly. And when you're done, you can do some writing about natural disasters, write a paragraph and use may, might, could and can't. And it should look like this, not a list, okay? So thank you for participating. I'm Jeff Buck and good luck.